Cardinals, it's Mrs. Carrera. Welcome back to Reading Time with me. Today we're going to read Hooray for Reading Day, and this is by Marjorie Coulier. So we'll see how this goes. Jessica was a worrier. She worried all the time. What does it look like she's worrying about here? Maybe rain? She worried about monsters under the bed, and getting a haircut, and going to the dentist, and remembering to walk Wiggles. Okay, she's looking for monsters, and there's her haircut. There's the dentist, and what is Wiggles? That's her puppy. But in first grade, she had a big worry. Mr. Martin had divided the class into small groups. When it was Jessica's turn to read, she had trouble sounding out the words. She read k k k cat and d, d dish. Sometimes the other kids laughed, and Jessica turned as red as a radish. There she is trying to read. Stop making fun, Mr. Martin said to the group. Then he asked Jessica to go back to the beginning and try again. Jessica hated when he said that. What if she made another mistake? Is it okay to make mistakes? Yeah, it is. One morning, Mr. Martin gave the kids a book called Hot Pot. Please read the first sentence out loud, he said to Jessica. And there's a picture of it right here. Jessica's stomach flip-flopped. Can I go last? she asked. If that will help, said Mr. Martin. Dot had a pot, read Anina. The pot had a sp spot, read Leslie. Are her friends perfect? Are they doing it perfect? No, it's okay. Dot put the pot on a cot, read Bobby. What a dumb story, thought Jessica. Your turn, said Mr. Martin. Jessica took a deep breath. <sighs> the p p pot was snot, she read. Everyone laughed at her mistake. Jessica wanted to sink into the floor. Shh, Mr. Martin said to the class. Then he turned to Jessica. Try again. I know you can do it. Jessica looked down. The words swam around the page. She closed her eyes so that the words would stop swimming. Then she opened her eyes and read, The p p pot was hot. Much better, said Mr. Martin. There you go. The next morning, Mr. Martin announced, Friday is reading theater day. I want each of you to read a line from your books out loud, and I want you to dress up in costumes. That will make it more fun. I've invited your parents, and we'll have cupcakes and juice. Oh boy, that sounds exciting, doesn't it? Jessica's stomach turned a somersault. Read out loud? Wear a costume? She thought she'd rather get a splinter in her tongue than do that. Does she look happy? No, she looks kind of worried, huh? Remember, she's a worrier. At dinner that night, Jessica didn't feel like eating. What's wrong? asked Mom. Everything, said Jessica. Go on, said Dad. Tell us. Jessica sighed. Mr. Martin said he invited the parents to reading theater. That's right, said Mom. We're looking forward to it. Not me, said Jessica. I don't want to read in front of a bunch of strangers, especially a line from a dumb story about a cot and a pot, and I definitely don't want to wear a costume. Oh my goodness. It's a lot of worrying and complaining, huh? Look at her. She looks very dramatic. Why not? said Mom. I had to do that once. It wasn't easy, since I was the slowest reader in first grade. Then one day, everything clicked, and I became the best reader in the class. Oh, said Jessica. I'll help you with your costume, said Laura. You can dress up as a sheet. Or a pillow, added Tom. 
Very funny, said Jessica. There's her mom. That looks like those are her brother and sister. Are they being helpful? No, not very helpful. That night, Jessica couldn't sleep. Words floated around in her head. Hot, pot, snot, spot, dot, cot. Oh, she's worrying. She's not going to get very much sleep if she keeps worrying. Finally, she turned on the light. Wiggles woke up and licked her face. Stop that, said Jessica. Then she got an idea. Hey, maybe I'll practice on you. She opened her backpack and pulled out her copy of Hot Pot. Wiggles snuggled up next to her. Jessica opened the book and began to read. Dot had a pot. The pot had a spot. Dot put the pot on the cot. The pot was hot. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Jessica looked at Wiggles. I didn't make any mistakes, she said. It's easy to read to you. The next day, Mr. Martin asked Jessica to read out loud. Jessica mixed up some of the words. Pot had a dot, she read. Everyone giggled. There she was talking to Wiggles. And this is the next day at school. I think she just gets nervous. Don't worry, said Mr. Martin. It's not the end of the world if you make a mistake. But to Jessica, it was. She'd had to practice all day and all night for reading theater. When Jessica got home, she read to Wiggles. She said the whole story through without making any mistakes. Wiggles gave her doggy kisses. What are doggy kisses? That's right, they're licks. <clears throat> Maybe if I can read to you, said Jessica, I can read to anybody. If Mom learned to be a good reader, why can't I? Arf, arf, barked Wiggles. There she is in school. And there she is with Mr. Wiggles. Finally, it was the day of reading theater. Jessica went to school wrapped in a blanket. When the parents began to arrive, Jessica put the blanket over her head. What do you think her costume is? I don't know, maybe she's hiding it. Mr. Martin greeted everyone. Then he asked Jessica's group to stand up. Jessica kept the blanket over her head as she walked to the front of the classroom. Anita read first. Then Leslie. There's Anita, looks like she's the pot. And this looks like Dot for Leslie. Next, it was Bobby's turn. Todd put the top on a splot, he read. Jessica threw off her blanket. She stared at Bobby. He had made a mistake. He never made mistakes. And now it was her turn. Uh-oh. Jessica's knees shook. She closed her eyes and pictured Wiggles. Then she opened her eyes and pretended she was reading to him. The pot was hot, she read. Phew, she got it right. She closed the book with a bang and sat down. The parents all clapped. So did the other kids. Mom and Dad clapped loudest of all. Look at everybody clapping and cheering. Isn't that nice? You were great, said Mom. Hooray for reading day, said Dad. Bravo, said Mr. Martin. I knew you could do it. Jessica smiled. That night, she read another story to Wiggles, and then another, and another. Wiggles licked the book. You must like this story, said Jessica. There she is. Then she gave him a big hug. And they both fell asleep. And Wiggles is laying on Puppy Love, and she's laying on Sleeping Beauty. All right, my friends, I hope you like that book, Hooray for Reading Day, and you guys have a good day. I'll see you next time. Bye!